Before joining in space, Vinod Kumar sir was awarded ISRO Team Excellence Award in 2006 by His Excellency Dr. Abdul Kalam ji and uh, he again was chosen in 2011 also uh, for ISRO Team Excellence Award. Dr. Vinod Kumar sir is uh, IIT Mumbai alumni and feel very proud to sit with Vinod Kumar sir to launch this uh, student side uh, competition today. Now if you look at this satellite, it kind of looks very very big, right? Now if you look at the component, the basic idea about it, it's like just a computer we're sending in a space, alright? Few of the things it will have is, it will have solar arrays, absolutely because there are no electrical cabling in the space, so we have to recharge. It would have its brain which is called a flight computer which is keeping it in the orbit that we send to. Then it has a processors. Another one thing, we need to talk with the satellite, right? We have to talk it, get the data back. So we have antennas to that. And the battery is one of the things that kind of helps it uh, keep the, all the electronics constantly going on. So these are very, very important components. And you can see that there are some thermal blankets. If you go into space, depending on the orbit, you're going to have a lot of uh, solar radiation exposures. You need to protect those electronics from that, right? Because we know earlier how big the computers were, right? They were super giant. But now the computers are like, you know, fit in your phone. So how can we make satellites even smaller? When we look at building the bigger satellites, making a smaller one and send to the space, there is this idea that came across. And the idea is called as the CubeSats. The CubeSats, what we'll build, will have definitely a solar panels, one structure, a rigid structure, aluminum alloy structure, which kind of hold all the component in and then we have a payload payload is an instrument or experiment that you want to send right if you want to send a camera or you want to send uh, any other astrophysics based instrument so that's what you send there then we have a power board which is kind of giving the power to the entire system then we have electronics that's called we call a brain of that sat and then we have different panels and the instruments also so how can we build a school satellite like CubeSats at the school level? We know we have heard that being built at the university level. We have designed these threefold objective programs. The first one that we're going to un unravel today, which is called a student sat. This is a basic, very basic satellite system, uh, and we're going to talk about it more, which will be launched with the uh, which which will launch with the helium balloon in the stratosphere around 35 kilometers. Uh, and uh, we'll collect the data for almost two and three hours, uh, the atmospheric, upper atmospheric data, and then we'll solve some of the challenges based on it. The student side, the first student side that you get your hands on is the left one. This is just a design model. It is, has a flight computer, it has the solar array, it has a power unit, it has a power supply, it has a payload sensors, it, it has a satellite frame, and it has a communication module as well. First step is you're going to take part in the kit based program. So, you'll, once you, as soon as you enroll, you will receive your own student sat kit that will be shipped to your address, uh, which will have the entire satellite and circuitry. So, the second step here is there is a two fold contest. The part number one of the contest is once you get a satellite, once you know how to use it, you have to teach that satellite compulsory to five more students using the same kit. So what happens, once you get a kit, once you test it, once you test all of that, you build that, there are some research goals that you have to kind of solve. And there is a team of educators that will kind of guide you to get to those goals. And uh, that's the event phases. 
and this is how the launch would happen um, we'll have the the payload which will be going to the edge of this piece uh, while it is climbing up we'll be collecting the data while it's coming down it will be collecting all the data Thank you so much for listening so this is a brief about the program you will find more details uh, in coming days on our website at namasedotech.com and uh, whatever queries you have will be able happy to answer so uh, before that i just request uh, so to kind of uh, unveil uh, the kit that we have got and uh, we can showcase to all of the students.